up, fam? It's your boy Speaks. Welcome to another episode of Gamer Time on Nikki6.com. Terrible world which remains. This week, we're taking a look at Mad Max on the PS4 and Xbox One. The first thing I gotta say about this game, it's definitely not Fury Road. He was one such man. If you've ever played a movie tie-in, then you should be wise to the fact that they're normally sloppy, rush pieces of work, which do a half-assed job of representing the source material. Damage out front, but it should work. Be happy to know that Mad Max the video game has an original aesthetic to call its own. This is thanks, in part, to the fantastic dried up ocean environment in which the game takes place. Driving past sand dunes that have ships sticking out of them is an enjoyably surreal experience. The story that takes place in this well-crafted world shows reverence to the established universe of the movies while not completely biting the style of the most recently released film. One example of this is how, while Max still doesn't say much, he's definitely a lot more talkative than Tom Hardy's take on the character. Where is it? Gosh, Tom. Uh, let's go there. No, wait, wait, wait. You can't just go to gas town. Oh, we need armor on my angel for that run. Yeah, it's going to take a long time, too. I'd probably need to get a couple of... Kevin, just... Get in the car! Wait. Look at that. I think he just said more words than Tom Hardy said in the entire movie. So the game looks good, and the game sounds good, but how does it play? The on-foot portions of the game aren't really the breakout star here, but they're still a lot of fun. The hand-to-hand -hand combat uses the counter system popularized by the Batman games, but Max is no Arkham Knight, and he sure isn't Talion from Shadow of Mordor. This actually ends up working in favor of Mad Max's non-derivative formula. At first, it's unsettling how immobile Max seems. But once you realize that it wouldn't make sense for him to be leaping across the screen delivering a front flip axe kick to a henchman 20 feet away, you begin to appreciate Max's slower style and its emphasis on perfectly timed button presses which result in brutal counters. The simple explanation for why Max is pounding in all these faces? He needs gas for his car. He needs gas for his car so that he can blow up other cars and get parts in order to fashion the upgrades necessary to take down his adversaries. So. It makes sense that the car combat in this game is absolutely exhilarating. High speed chases with convoys. Popping shots with a makeshift sniper rifle. Harpooning sentries out of their towers. And a satisfying upgrade system that let me throw some D's on the whip. Those are this game's bread and butter. And they're the main reason that you should give it a shot. It feels like you're always getting an upgrade that'll let you do something that you couldn't before. And there are plenty of areas where, in other games, you'd assume that you just couldn't drive. But Max is a road warrior and he does what he wants. You'll meet all sorts of characters who you can help. Or even might end up helping you. So spending time exploring in between missions is highly recommended. Speaking of highly recommended, this game gets the thumbs up from me as well. If you weren't sure on it because you thought that it might be a movie game, dead that nonsense. Mad Max makes a great use of the license and really puts you behind the wheel, so to speak. Here's some uninterrupted gameplay. 